Hi, I'm Jeremy and this is Faith and we're the lead pastors at Mosaic Christian Fellowship and uh, we're just excited to be here with you. Um, This week uh, we actually started on Sunday a series uh, called Loving Well and uh, since it was Valentine's Day it seemed like an appropriate day to start that series. And uh, as I was thinking, you know, we've been together for about 33 Valentine's Days now. Yes. So from the time we were in college. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So that's kind of exciting, isn't it? Um, it was kind of fun. I, I remember when the first time we actually saw each other. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I was, uh, I was uh, stuck down in that ditch and I was playing motorcycles. <laughs> and uh, uh, and then, then I, I saw you and... Uh, you well, said, hi, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and and then then we we started to uh, to to go out shortly after that, and it was kind of interesting because uh, you actually even made your friends drive forty minutes uh, to the ice cream parlor where I worked, and uh, uh, so that she so she could see me rather than having to go to the one that's just around the corner from where we uh, actually went to school. So uh, there was some some crazy things that happened there, and I even went. Uh, on, on our weekly date that we got three hours of Bible school. You only get three hours a week to go on a date. I actually went to the mall. So, I mean, that's uh, that, that, that's how, how much I really uh, loved her. And uh, we still love each other even after all these these years, which is really an important thing. You don't go to the mall with me much, though. No, I don't go to the mall with you much at all now. Um, so, uh, one of the things that we were, we were talking about uh, when we started our series was the fact that it's really easy to get into relationships, but actually keeping relationships going, uh, whether they're romantic relationships or just even uh, any kind of personal relationship, uh, does take time and does take effort. And and really, uh, the the source of all relationships really is 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 the heart itself, right? And I guess it's no surprise to anyone uh, because I mean we have hearts at Valentine's Day and everything because of it, but. Uh, the, the thing is, um, we, we started with a, a verse from Proverbs which says this, Guard your heart above all things, because it will determine the course of your life. And, and that's really true, because our, the course of our life is determined by our relationships as much as anything else. And so uh, it's one thing we really need to guard. But dealing with our heart, it can be a really tricky issue, because uh, you know we, we can't always recognize when something goes wrong. And that's even the same with our, our, our natural hearts as well. And uh, we, we came to discover that even this, this summer, didn't we? Oh yeah, I do remember. Um, <clears throat> we, were, we had taken a long walk in the coolies, right? Yes. I had been sick with the cold right. all summer. And uh, so, but we did take a long walk and on the way back, um, my heart started doing some really wonky things and really bad palpitations. But not only that, I started feeling really um, uh, sick and dizzy and I was sweating and uh, and we, it was, it was pretty hot that day and we didn't bring water, which I would never, ever suggest, (laughs) Um, but we definitely treated it um, with heat exhaustion, because we thought that, you know, that it's it's all the signs of heat exhaustion, which we found out later that actually um, my heart was acting up, and uh, um, yeah. Yeah, that was that was that was part of the issue, and and it can mask behind all those symptoms. Some of those symptoms for uh, for heat exhaustion are very similar to uh, to to what you'd experience with uh, a problem with your heart. And actually, I should have recognized that even uh, as someone who teaches first aid, I, I should actually have picked that up right away. The difference, but we went for what we saw. We went for uh, the the heat exhaustion, and there was something more serious that was going on e- even at a deeper level. And that can sometimes happen with our hearts, and that's why sometimes it's really tricky. Uh, to actually uh, deal with some of the issues of the heart. So we're talking about uh, some of the issues of the heart, and we're going to have another webisode uh, that that carries on from this a little bit later. But I wanted to introduce it with this one, and keep tuned, because uh, as we go through the series, we're going to put several of these up uh, so that uh, you can have an idea as to what's going on. Uh, And better yet, you can even join us on Sunday at the Hub in Coldale. Uh, You can find that on our website, www.mosaicfellowship.net. We'd love to see you, and uh, you can be part of what's happening live.